Hello, this is the Distracted Gamer. Um, so, I thought uh, before we uh, we continue with the Let's Plays, I thought about doing a tutorial on ROM Station, which is the software that I, that I am using for currently my Let's Plays and future Let's Plays also. So, I thought I'd try to spread more awareness about it because I think it's an amazing software that should be known. So, uh, today I'm giving you guys a little tutorial on how to get it and how to what to do with it and how you can use it. I'm just gonna make sure I'm recording. Okay, because this is okay, good. Alright, so first thing you want to do is open a Google's page. Go open a Google page. Bam. Sorry. <laughs> Type in ROM station. Once you're on the page. Come on. Once you're on the page you want to download it. Uh so click the green button up there or the 2.3 version honestly it for me it is not really a different but uh yeah for me i, I don't yeah for me it is not really different i'm using the 2.3 version for windows because i have windows 64 bits so that's what i'm using just putting this up all right so once you have the software you will be Welcome to this page. Sorry, which is your homepage, literally. Uh, you're always gonna have recent upload up by uh, up there, whatever is going on in multiplayer, and then activities on the form. So that's what you have. So to make an account, it's free. It's a freebie. You, you can use this for free. Uh, there's. Also, they have a, they used to have a subscription program. Oh, they do. Okay. They do have a subscription program still. And it, and uh, for one month, it's in euros. Uh, so I don't know what the currency is in Canadian. If anyone can tell me, that'd be great. Canadians are US dollars. So for one month, it's eight bucks. And then lifetime, which is what I... 12 months is 12 months is 30. Okay. That changed because back in the day when I paid, I paid 50 and I had it for lifetime. That changed. So it used to be, you can just pay 50 for lifetime. Okay. I guess they changed the price. I guess they need to make cash, which is fine because they're great. They deserve it. Okay. So, So, and also like if you, if you pay, like you get access to your own connection, like your max, max speed connection and you get to skip load times, so, uh, load times, lines, that's what I meant to say, like waiting lines. Okay. So to give you guys an example of how, so before I give you guys an example, I'll show you guys a little bit around. You've got the multiplayer with the, which is where there's servers servers going on uh, where people play multi games which is your library of games all categorized by genre and console as well as the newest sh the newest shit the newest stuff updated stuff most played top rated most commented and if you want a to z you can do that too the emulators you can uh, that's the nice thing about this is that you can download each emulator separately i didn't i don't do it i don't really use it because i just download what i can i just download the game itself so lives which are live streams forms which are forms and blogs which are where people can communicate quizzes i don't really use them and then the gallery where people post images. All right, so give you guys an example. Let's pick a console. Let's say we want, let's say we want well, PS2. Okay, let's just pick a game randomly. Uh, let's say we, we, we do, for the video, let's just do
I don't want it to be too too long. So I'm just gonna pick. Let's pick Need for Speed on the ground. Show you guys what's up. All right. So, uh, when you get to a page, to a page, you know, you have the uh, download link, which is green. The date that it's been uploaded, the size, and then console, the language. It's in français, in French. If it's multiplayer or not, it's going to tell you the year that it, the year that it came out, the developer and the publisher. And then you have a little description. So what you want to do is click download. The game's going to download. And it's going to go here. Let me just see. Oh, okay. So that's what I was looking for. So each game comes with its own emulator. Like all the N64, it's all Project 64. And all the PS2 comes with another emulator that I don't remember, but they each have their own emulators. So what you want is, so you download the game first and then you download the emulator, which it's not that big. So, and then the game just starts, I think. And then after that, you would need to, you would need to, uh, to you would need to configure your controller. And it's that easy, man. Like, it's seriously that easy. If I want, so because my ROM station is in, uh, in Steam, so I can show you, I can show this to you guys right now if you want. So what I did with my ROM station is I, I put it through Steam. So to do that, you go to add games, add non Steam game, and you find ROM station in your, like, in your, I'll actually do it. You'd add game, and then it's going to give you a whole bunch of games. And then what you want is to add, where's the guy? ROM station, which is not there. Because it's already there. Because it's already in there. It's already in my Steam. But you do that. You, you go through the list, add ROM station, and then from there, assuming that your controller is connected, which right now it's not, and my ears, my eardrums are gonna blow up, so I've gonna stop that. But you configure your controller through the emulator for through Steam, and it would recognize it on ROM station, which I think is really cool. So, what else am I missing? Anything? Uh, that's pretty much it because. Yeah, it's pretty much it. It's it's that easy. Like, it's that easy. You just download the game and then download the emulator, and you're good to go. Um, it's pretty much it. Uh, so it's pretty sim. It was a pretty short tutorial, but it was just to show you guys what it was. Prom Station was. Um, and I think it's a great software that I think should be used. It's amazing, truly. So that's it for me. I'm gonna see you guys for my let's play of Donkey Kong Country 2 and Crash Bandicoot Wrath of Cortex next time. So don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. You, it would be really helpful. And I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Distracted Gamer. Distracted Gamer out.